and i welcome you to my youtube channel macpm so this is our next video on the gear so in this video we will discuss the classification of the tooth wheels tooth wheels or gear these are same gears are also called tooth wheels so there are four criteria of uh, classification classification of the gears the first one is the according to the position of axis of the shafts so first uh, there are three types of gears based on the ex, uh, axis and uh, position of the shaft first one is parallel so you can see that uh, in this case the two shafts are parallel so suppose this is a shaft a this is a shaft b and uh, this is a driver shaft suppose this is driven by an engine so this is rotating like this and we have to transfer power from shaft a to shaft b then we will add a gear here and we will add a gear here and we can transfer power from shaft a to shaft b easily so this type of gear is called parallel shaft gears so you can see that what are uh, what are the type of parallel shaft gears so first one is spur gear so you can see that spur gear there is one shaft will pass from here and the shaft will pass from here from this hole and this hole so these two shafts are parallel so this is a parallel shaft gear so this is a spur gear so what is a spur gear so a spur gear is a type of gear which is very simple to design and in this the tooth you can see the teeth these teeth are parallel to the axis of the shaft and these gears mesh here so they transfer or they apply force they apply radial force means toward the center of the shaft and there is no axial force on this and this is very simple to design and very costly and uh, next type of is helical gear in this type of gear the uh, teeth of the gear are inclined suppose this is a shaft and this is a shaft these are two parallel shafts and uh, we are transferring uh, mo uh, power between these two shafts then you can see that these teeth are inclined compared to the direction of shaft in this case per gear the teeth were parallel to the shaft in helical gear they are inclined to the surface uh, to the direction of shaft and you can see that there will be two types of forces one will be radial here one will be radial and one will be axial because these teeth are not parallel to the direction of the shaft okay so there are uh, there is a problem in helical gear that there will be axial thrust so there will be axial thrust which is not only present in this per gear but they can take more load than spur gear because the force is divided in two direction in axial and in radial direction so radial component is less so chances of failure will be less so helical gears can transfer more load and they they will be silent then they will create less noise than the spur gears and uh, you can see that these are called helical gear because teeth are moving in a form of a helix they are going like this so this is called a helical gear the third is herringbone gear what is herringbone gear when we uh, use two helical gears together they are uh, see this is a uh, one helical gear and this is two helical gear a second helical gear these two are connected on one shaft and there will be two more helical gears one and one on another shaft so these two four gears these two are combined with each other and these two are combined with each other so they are called helical herringbone gear there are two, uh, two helical gears are used on two helical gears are used on one shaft why this is done because you you could see that in this case axial thrust was applied on the uh, shaft suppose the axial force is in this direction so there are two gears so axial force one will be in this direction another will be in this direction they two will cancel each other so there will be no axial thrust so this gear can uh, handle more load and will be silent also the next one is double helical gear double helical gear and herringbone gear are almost same sometimes there is difference that there will be 
gap between two helic helical gears here you can see that they two are connected but here there is a slight gap so these are parallel shaft type gear the another one is intersecting shaft gear in this case you can see that one shaft is passing through this hole another shaft is passing through this hole so these two are in the same plane and hence they will intersect with each other so there are few type of gears which are intersecting shaft types but we are mentioning two there is straight bevel gear also there is spiral wheel gear also there is helical bevel gear depending on the teeth profile of this gear so first of all here also you can see that this shaft and this shaft will intersect intersect with here so what is the bevel gear the so bevel gear is a gear which is cut from cone see this is a shaft and this is a cone okay there is also a cone here so you can see that we will remove this cone and we will remove this portion of the cone so if we remove this portion if you remove these portions then it will form a bevel gear so these are cut from the cones and they form a intersecting shaft type of gear and depending on the tooth profile they may be straight or spur type straight bevel gear when tooth are straight like this they may be spiral when tooth will be turned like this in a spiral shape see here this is a spiral bevel gear and it may be helical also so depending on this so why this is used spiral uh, bevel gear a spiral bevel gear is more noise free and uh, a spiral gear is used because it can transfer change the direction of the power transmitted between two shafts see here the shaft was in this direction in parallel gear there was also another shaft but this was also parallel to the first shaft but here you can see that angle of the shaft has been changed it can be also like this or like this but angle can be changed by the spiral bevel gear or straight bevel gear so bevel gear is used to change the direction of the shaft or axis of the shaft and remember this is intersecting type of shaft another one is variance of this bevel gear which is called meter gear so what is meter gear meter gear is a gear it is same as a spiral gear but a special case is there that these two shafts are at 90 degree these two shafts are 90 degree at perpendicular to each other in this case this angle could be 50 degree 70 degree also but here angle is 90 degree and another important thing is the gear ratio is 1 velocity ratio is 1 so this size of the two gears will be same here the see one gear is small one gear is big but here gear size of the gears will be same the third third classification based on the shaft is that non uh, non parallel and non intersecting gears you can see that this is one shaft this is another shaft and suppose there is a gap between these two planes they, they are not located in same plane so these two shafts will never intersect with uh, each other they can be similar design with helical or super gear but uh, another only change is that the shaft will not be parallel to each other or intersecting to each other they will be skew shaft so these two gears uh, this gear is called screw gears skew gears and uh, one variation is also called hypoid gear hypoid gear is also a skew gear so first classification is completed based on the position of shaft and direction of the shaft now let's move to the according to the peripheral velocity of the gears so you can see that when two gears are meeting with each other suppose this is shaft a this is shaft b shaft a is rotating shaft b is rotating also 
this will be suppose this is in counter clockwise direction then this will be in clockwise direction because external gears move in opposite direction when they meet so suppose this is moving at very high speed this shaft is moving at very high speed the speed of this periphery of this gear will be also high and if this gear is very big then peripheral speed will be also bigger so let's see this is there are three three types of gears based on the velocity of the periphery so this is low velocity medium velocity and high velocity this is very simple you just have to remember that if peripheral velocity is less than 3 meter per second then it is low velocity if 3 to 15 meter per second then medium velocity gears and if more than 50 meter per second then it is high velocity gears okay the third classification is according to, according to the type of gearing in this you can see that there are three types of gears first one is external gear what is the external gear external gearing is when the teeth teeth you can see the teeth here teeth these teeth are cut on the external surface of the gear you can see that the teeth, teeth are outside on the outside surface of the wheel so these are called external gears in external gears you can see that these two gears will always rotate in opposite direction suppose this gear is rotating in their direction clockwise then this will rotate in counter clockwise direction okay the second one is internal gearing what is internal gearing see in internal gearing one gear has teeth in internal surface of the gear you can see here in extra if it was external gear then teeth will be here on outside surface but in this gear the teeth are inside on one gear teeth is outside which is moving inside of the gear bigger gear and bigger gear has teeth inside here so this is called internal gear these uh, two shafts will move in the same direction here so suppose uh, this shaft is moving in clockwise direction then this gear will also move in the clockwise direction the third is rack and pinion the straight thing is called rack and this is called this wheel is called pinion this pinion drive the rack uh, this rack is also called the gear of infinite radius because you can see that is straight this is a straight line so a straight line line is also called a circle with infinite radius so in similar way in uh, this is a gear of infinite radius in this case a shaft is here and this shaft rotates this wheel and this pinion will move in this direction okay so here we can use this type of mechanism to transfer rotary motion or circular motion into a straight motion okay so this is the third classification the fourth one is according to the position of teeth on the gear surface first one is straight as you see in the uh, in the spur gear the shaft this is shaft passing through the holes this is shaft so these teeth are parallel to the shaft so these are called a straight teeth gear this is helical gear this is spur gear this is helical gear here you can see that suppose this is shaft and this is also shaft then you can see that these teeth are inclined compared to this shaft they, they are forming some angle so these are called inclined inclined teeth gear these are straight these are inclined and another one is curved as you saw the bevel gear helical bevel, uh, bevel gear or uh, sorry spiral bevel gear this is here teeth are in form of spiral here you can see that gears are uh, teeth are in curved surface curved shape come and uh, shaft is straight so they are forming com uh, curve compared to the shaft so this is called a spiral bevel gear 
आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड अप टू हियर